In this video, I will show you my workflow of getting photorealistic characters in Blender with the help of Daz 3D. It is a free software, and I have tried a lot of human creation tools such as Character Creator 4, but it did not give good results. It's very easy to install. Go to their website and click Get Started for free. Create an account and download the software and install it. When it is done, there will be Daz Central on your desktop. Open it. Daz 3D is already installed on my system, but it will ask you install it. When it's done, you have to first check that the Genesis 9 pack is installed or not. For that, go into this tab and search starter. It is already installed on my system, but if it is not showing here, you can click the link in the description, which will get you to this page. Add it to the cart and get it. Don't worry, it's free. Just log in with the same account. After that, you can install it. Now in the extension tab, install the Blender Bridge. If this doesn't shows here, I have also added a link in the description for that. After that, open the software. You will get this interface. You can move with W. Go into this tab and under Genesis 9. Double click Matt, you will get the character here. You can add another if you want, but I am going with this one for now. On the bottom right, you will see the morph settings. You can play with the head and body settings by dragging these values. Search for skin here and add this one. My character is now ready for export. To export it for Blender, click here and select Blender Bridge. These settings will open. First, install the plugin by going into this directory and export it. Open Blender, go into Edit, Preferences and search for DAS and enable it. Save it and open this tab and find the add-in. Scroll down and disable these two options. Now click Import and you are done. Let's talk about hair. You can either create hair from default with Particle System with the help of this video, or if you are like me, get this free hair add-on. It includes four free hairstyles which are completely customizable. You can install it like an add-on. First select what hairstyle you want. I am going with this one. Then import it. Make sure you follow these steps correctly. Now in the Modifier tab, uncheck all of these for now. Move the base mesh near to the head. After that, scale it slightly if you want to. When done, just select the mesh in this box and click this button. Enable the hair back and you can see the result. Now I use Marvelous Designer for clothing because it is too easy and great, but it is paid. Just select the mesh in Blender and export it like this. Open Marvelous Designer. It has free trial, so give it a try. Import it like this. Make sure you copy my settings. Now you can create patterns here and it will do cloth simulations real time. I am not going that deep, but watch this video. This guy has made a perfect tutorial for Marvelous. You can export it back to Blender. This video is still short as the topic is too long. Let me know in the comments if you want a more detailed tutorial. Support the channel by buying my Cinematic Starter Pack.